I have a passion for people reaching their potential. People and their horses, donkeys, mules. I think for me, being able to release some of that potential, being able to get people on their own path to horsemanship, being able to actually say to people, you know what, you do know what to do. And the six steps that we're going to look at today, I think, over the years, are keys to getting better at what you're already doing. At the absolute peak of his condition, he had been third in the national championships as a yearling. But now he had scars on his chest. He had scars on his nose. Horses really don't get a lot of say in many places. And there's a massive swell of people starting to go, you know what, I want to listen to my horse. I want to do more for my horse. I want to ask more questions. And I don't think I've ever seen a presenter that is less ego-based. Others are like, yeah, let me do it. Oh, wish I hadn't. <laughs> I'd like you to put this on your horse. People go, okay. <clears throat> they kind of lunge at the horse to see what happens. Now, if you're, you're going to go on a diet. No, it's right, I'm on a diet, thank you. <laughs> Willpower is finite. Get to you think so? Go on, put some more in there. You can do a bit more. Don't ever trust me. Never trust a trainer. They'll make you do all sorts of stuff you don't want to do. Put some effort in, you can change your intelligence. It's not a bed of roses. It isn't all rainbows. It will be difficult. You will get bitten. You might fall off. It could be scary. You will get criticised. You'll think you're not good enough. You do all that stuff. The one measure of whether someone will keep going is something called... Listen to your intuition, cut yourself some slack.